Hi, my name is Randall Lloyd. You found me once again on the Infertility Channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here today. And we're going to start today with a question. This is Cheryl from Birmingham, not Alabama, but Birmingham, England. Dear Dr. Lloyd, I've had horrible acne since I was a teenager, and I've heard that that could be related to my infertility. Is that true? The short answer is yes, and we're going to talk today about acne. I'm going to tell you a story that absolutely did relate fertility with acne. We had a couple, this happened about two years ago, they came from another country and we tried to get translators at every visit and we thought we did well. They came to see us for IVF and at the end they didn't get pregnant despite nice looking embryos. We had the translator come back to the post IVF visit so we just tried to find out why didn't they get pregnant and the translator uh, said well did you tell him about this medication you're taking for your acne and she goes no 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 I didn't say that because my doctor elsewhere had prescribed that she pulls this pack of pills out of her purse and they were birth control pills so she had been on birth control pills all the way through her IVF cycle all of you IVF patients if you're on orthotricycline or estrostep or any one of these other pills you know not to take them during IVF. So what is acne? Acne, as every high school girl knows, is hormonally related. Many women from age 15 to 50 even do have some degree of acne and oily skin just prior to the menstrual period. Most young women will clear acne in the teens, but sometimes we see in reproductive medicine women who do have acne in their 20s, 30s, and 40s, and we do start thinking about some condition related to fertility. We do know that acne is an androgen regulated process. Androgens increase the turnover of a protein called keratin, which plugs up the pores, and then there's a bacterium, it's called Propionobacterium acnes. That particular bacterium is notorious and then causing inflammation and then acne. So when I see a woman come into our practice who is say 35 with facial acne and or acne scarring, I begin to look at androgens, both adrenal androgens and we will also look as appropriate at ovarian androgens because both organs create androgens. So we will do that in blood screening, but oftentimes blood screening is not necessary. And I would say that most dermatologists and most internists never do the first laboratory test. They just simply look at it and will recommend treatment with an antibiotic such as doxycycline or tetracycline, uh, or they might prescribe uh, tretinoin or Accutane. Both of those are vitamin A derivatives. But really, really, really important is you cannot take those if you're trying to get pregnant. You certainly can't take those if you are pregnant because those cause problems in the baby. We certainly want you to be off of those particular medications before going on to pregnancy. What else might you do to help out your acne? Well, benzoyl peroxide, 5%, and that's available. Um, things like Stridex pads have, have uh, benzoyl peroxide in them. Um, a mild detergent to wash the face. Uh, watch out for the thick makeup, the oily makeup, uh, sunscreens that have a lot of oil in them. Just make sure your hygiene is good. Um, so those are things that can help. But sometimes if there is an androgen related problem and it's not related to an androgen producing tumor, for example, but if it's just adrenal overdrive or so-called adult onset congenital adrenal hyperplasia, we're going to talk about that in a future episode but you know it if you got it, then we'll treat you with certain medications. Now, in the rare, rare case that you have an adrenal or an ovarian tumor producing androgens, then of course you would need surgery most likely, but most people don't have those. That would be much less than 1% chance. The great majority of patients who have some oily skin or acne are treated easily by birth control pills if you're not trying to get pregnant, for example, orthotricycline, or if you are trying to get pregnant, oftentimes a very low dosage of dexamethasone, trade name Decadron, usually 0.25 to 0.5 milligrams at night is enough to decrease those adrenal androgens, which might help medications work better or might help you get pregnant on your own. So that's a mouthful. I mean, that's a lot of information really fast on, on this particular condition. I guess two caveats. Number one would be don't use Accutane or Tretinoin if you're trying to get pregnant 
Number two is do not take birth control pills if you're trying to get pregnant. Thanks so much for joining me today. Look forward to seeing you back next week. Be sure to share this video with your friends and subscribe to catch all new episodes each week here on the Infertility Channel. Plus, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I love hearing from you. Comment below or tell me what you want to see on future episodes by sending me an email to comments at infertilitychannel.org. Until next week.